aldehyde and ketone reacts with HCN to give cyanohydrin for example let us say we have a aldehyde and this reacts with HCN to give this product. The product contains a hydroxy group and it also has a cyanide group. So that's why the product is called cyanohydrine. Now let us consider the mechanism of this reaction. This reaction is basically nucleophilic addition reaction. So this is the example of nucleophilic addition reaction. So in this reaction CN minus is the nucleophile. So CN minus is acting as nucleophile. So we can generate nucleophile by ionization of B K acid HCN. So HCN is a B K acid. It can ionize to give H plus and C N minus. So this is simply ionization. Now once we have generated this nucleophile CN minus it can react with aldehyde or ketone. Let us say we have a aldehyde so this nucleophile will attack on this carbon this opens up and we will have this intermediate. This is called tetrahedral intermediate. Now in the next step tetrahedral intermediate gets protonated to give cyanohydrate so next step is simply protonation of tetrahedral intermediate. So we will have finally cyanohydrine. So this step is simply protonation. And this is basically acid base reaction HCN is acting as acid and this is acting as a base. So this is simply acid base reaction. So mechanism contains two step. In the first step we have nucleophilic attack. In the second step we have protonation. And finally we have cyanohydrine as the final product. So this is the cyanohydrine. Same thing can happen with ketone also. For example let us say if I have this ketone that is acetone. And if this reacts with HCN it will generate cyanohydrine. So this is the cyanohydrine. Now a question is generally asked for cyanohydrine formation 
a mixture of HCN and base is used. This base can be NaOH, BaOH hole twice or any a strong base. So, question is generally cyanohydrin formation is done by a mixture of HCN plus a strong base. Now this strong base is taken in limited amount So, why this is done in the presence of HCN and a strong base? Let us say we have HCN plus NaOH. So, this reaction is done in the presence of HCN and NaOH, but not generally done in the presence of HCN. So, what is the reason? Now, in this case, reason is very simple. HCN is a weak acid and it ionizes to a very less extent. So, this process of ionization has very less degree of dissociation. So, that is this process is around 2 percent, 3 percent or 1 percent. So, very less ionization. So, this means reaction mixture contains very less amount of nucleophile. So, mixture contains very less amount of nucleophile. But if I take a mixture of acid and base, first acid base reaction happens. So, acid reacts with base to give salt and water. Now, NaCN is ionic, it will dissociate into Na plus and Cn minus. So, we have a nucleophile Cn minus in the mixture at a very large extent. So, reaction mixture has high concentration of nucleophile. So, this is the reason generally we do this reaction in the presence of HCN and NaOH. This reaction can also be done can also be done with HCN and NaCN. So, we can take acid and salt and salt of cyanide. We can also take HCN plus KCN that is salt of cyanide ion. In these cases also we have free CN minus that is coming from salt. that can act as a nucleophile. So, C n minus is free and it can act as nucleophile. Let us try some problem.
So what will be the product in this reaction? This is a cyanohydrine formation. We will have cyanohydrine. What will be the product in this reaction? So this time we have a aldehyde. Initially we are having a ketone. So once again we will have cyanohydrin formation. So this is cyanohydrin. Cyanohydrine can be used can be used to prepare different functional group also different functional group for example if you have prepared this cyanohydrine this can be hydrolyzed and that will give acid and this is basically alpha hydroxy acid so this carbon is alpha carbon that contains a hydroxy group. So this is alpha hydroxy acid. So we can say cyanohydrine can be used to prepare alpha hydroxy acid so if I have aldehyde or ketone we can react this with HCN in the presence of a small amount of base to give cyanohydrine And this can be hydrolyzed to give alpha hydroxy acid. Cyanohydrin can also be used to prepare amine for example this cyanohydrine can be treated with lithium aluminum hydride and then we need acidification so finally we will have and amine. So CN groups gets reduced to CH2 and H2 group. So in this reaction CN gets reduced to CH2 and H2 group. So in this lecture we discussed about cyanohydrin formation. So we said this reaction is simply a nucleophilic addition reaction in which CN minus acts as a nucleophile and the second step is protonation. Generally nucleophile CN minus is generated by a mixture of HCN and NaOH 
that is a small amount of base is used to generate nucleophile. We can also use HCN plus salt of CN like NACN or KCN. In the last we said cyanohydrine can be used to prepare different functional group. It can be hydrolyzed to give acid functional group and it can be reduced to give amine functional group.